Have you ever experienced a major setback or even, even a small setback when things are going really well for you? You see, this is called your upper limit. Um, and uh, many times when we think that we've gone through these and we feel like we've, we've overcome these upper limits, they still come back. Uh, just recently, as some of you know, I injured myself and I rolled my ankle really quite bad and uh, I've been remedying it and, and doing everything I can to, to make it feel better, right? But there's one step that, that I do that I feel like not enough people know about and that's this part, okay? This part plays a huge role in your recovery. Um, not only mentally recovering, but also the physical or the physiological recovery. Uh, so, let me explain a little bit. I had gotten to the point of being able to 360 dunk a 10 foot hoop, okay? I haven't been able to do that since I was in my early 20s, and I'm 38 now, which means my training has paid off. Okay. I've been able to increase my hops and get, get them to a point where they haven't been in a really long time. Uh, and I started to feel really awesome about that. Okay, My training was going well and I'm increasing my vert and I'm dunking on, on uh, doing stuff that I haven't done in so long. And all of a sudden I roll my ankle and it's a major setback for me. I can't train on this leg right now. Um, lots of people go through these uh, these setbacks, okay? In sports, it happens all the time. And yes, I could look at it as just an accident. It was, it was an accident, okay? I came down, landed on my other foot, right in between two people, and boom. And it rolled, and there we have it. But now I'm in the recovery process. So I view this as an upper limit. If you wanna know more about the upper limit and uh, a really good way to explain it and everything, you go to the book, uh, the, well, it's called The Big Leap, and he talks about the upper limit. Gay Hendricks is the author. So go ahead and check that book out. It's helped me a lot. So anytime I feel like I'm experiencing an upper limit, I shed light on it, and I continually tell myself to expand in abundance, success, love, every single day as I inspire others to do the same. You see, I've been saying that for the last few years at least five, six times a day. I set a not notification on my phone and wherever I'm at, uh, whoever I'm with, when that notifi notification goes off, I read it out. Whether out loud or, or to myself, I say that mantra to myself. And uh, that's to help me continually expand. And yet, I still have upper limits on what I believe I can achieve. So when an injury like this happens, or if you are experiencing a setback, here's something that you can do. You can tell yourself that mantra, but you can also set up some affirmations of recovery, whatever it is. So this, this is my specific thing that I did. And then you can figure out what you would do for your case. So I, I take forgive because I forgive myself. And I put a couple drops on the back of my neck. I rub it into those occipital triangles and get some of that flow to my, to my brain. Then I also... You know what's really funny? While I was explaining this, right here, right now, my mantra just came up. So I expand in abundance, success, and love every day as I inspire others to do the same. Um, okay, back to what I was just saying. Uh, it's funny that notification came up right while I was filming. So I take the, the forgive, I rub it on, I sit in a quiet place and I breathe it in. Breathe it in, get those, those awesome um, compounds into my brain, into my, into my mind so that I can release any tension and create a new intention. So my new intention is to constantly expand that I deserve to have the body that I have. I deserve to be able to jump and have the power that I have. I deserve to be able to dunk how I want to dunk. Because, and there's, here's the, the key, because I put in the work for it. So if you're doing your work, 
okay? You're putting in the work, then of course you deserve the body that you want. Of course you deserve the finances that you want and the, the relationships that you want. It does require the work, okay? Um, so I say these affirmations to myself and also many others for about five minutes. And uh, that helps me recover, not only mentally, but telling myself that I can recover actually speeds up my recovery. And whether that's scientific or not, it works for me. And I'm, I'm healing super fast. So anyways, that is my message for you guys. And I hope you can get something from it. And again, go check out the book, uh, The Big Leap. It's a great one. And uh, be driven by purpose. See you guys.